Okay, we're going to take an old basket that I found. It's an old metal basket. And what I did was I went and got some upholstery strapping, webbing, whatever you want to call it. And I'm actually using that to cover up all the metal in here. I want it to look like pretty, I want it to resemble a bike, um, a bike basket. So I know it's a little narrower than a bike basket, but that's okay. Because not all bicycle baskets were made the same. So what I'm doing is I'm using this mesh with the fringe on it to kind of disguise the um, styrofoam. It actually has some cheapy styrofoam that I'm filling it up with because you're not going to be doing that. So might as well use something to fill it up. Okay. Try to get this down a little more. There we go. I just kind of wanted to hang over the side and look like we went to the market and we bought a bunch of flowers. That's the concept. All right. So I got another piece we're going to fit in here. make it look ragged old worn used I like that look I've had this basket now for oh my gosh several years and the whole idea was I knew the right time something would come to mind and my new bike sign just hi Robin just um, made it it just, I get inspired by things. And a lot of times I go to my secondhand stores and so on, and I see something I like, and I just grab it because I like it. And if I like it, I'll be able to create something with it. So that's what drew me to this basket. And like I said, it's old, it's rusty. I've had it hanging outside empty. And it's like, it's begging to be filled with something. So we need to figure out what to fill it with. And because I didn't have any real hard foam, I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some. Hi, Joanne. Welcome. There's my girl. Levon will answer any questions you might have. <laughs> so I'm going to actually put these in here, hoping they'll work as a substitute. And then I'll cover them with some moss, which I know I have plenty of moss. It's just, where did I put it? Okay. Not where it's supposed to be. Oh crap. Let me think here. It's gotta be close by. Because I've used it recently. So. Well. Of course, when you want it, you can't find it. So probably have to go back at the end and find it. Well, I think what I'll do, I'm just going to cover it with this. Because it's got holes, I can punch through it and so on. Alright. And then when I find the moss, I'll stick it in was like right here. Don't you hate that? I don't know how many times that happens to me. Almost all the time. Alright, so what it is, like I said, it's an old metal basket that I found. 
that resembles a bike basket. I've taken the this webbing from the upholstery shop and because this section was not as wide as this section I weaved it in and out this section and this section and this section I'm putting it over top of okay because you're going to help me decide which sign we're going to put on here seek beautiful things or follow the sun Okay, and I think I'm going to put it like over to the side here because I think my bow is going to go here. So we are going to start, and I even have a little bicycle. Isn't that adorable? Okay, when I designed these signs, I wanted it to match ribbon. And if you all don't know, the signs are for sale. For ten dollars plus shipping, I have um, ribbon to match for sale also. Okay, all right. So we're just gonna start decorating. Well, sticking flowers in here anyhow. And in my sign, you'll kind of see. I think they're called open roses. Can you all see them? So maybe, maybe I'll kind of like push everything over here to the side and we'll put a ribbon right here. All right, so I had some of these that I wanted to put in here. Some of the flowers came from Sims, some came from Michaels. So let me see if this is kind of what I wanted. Might split these. Well, oh, no. So I kind of like want to lay the flowers like they're in the basket across. I know you can't see it real well, but what I'll do is I'll I'll make sure I turn it around at times so you can see it. So just bear with me while I get started here. Let's see, I can bend these. Like I said, I just want it to look like we went to the market and bought some basket like flowers fresh flowers to take home hi nanny dot we are doing a bike basket out of an old metal basket that i've had forever see we're just gonna whisk everything this way look like it's laying in the basket and popping out the top trying to get my bearing here. I've got like flowers everywhere. Like I found these today. Aren't those beautiful? I have, we have yellow in the sign. We have, we have red, we have pinks, we have yellows. So I kind of wanted just a combination of everything. And right now, Michael's has all their flowers on sale for like half off. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just kind of building it going higher in the back. And then we'll go lower here. And I like some of these. Just give it some visual interest. So I could probably put them in groups of three. Again, I just want it to look like it's laying out of the basket. 
but you may have to get a bigger slant going. Some. I'm going to stick this elephant ears in the back first. I think that's what they're called. Of course, it doesn't tell you. I've already clipped some off, so let's kind of get everything off that we don't want on there. the height but of course this thing is so fat Of course, I want to stick some pit berries in there. So they're a little higher. Just to, like I said, give it a little interest. Make it look like it's an all in one bouquet when we're done. That's the plan. Now. Whether it goes that way or not, that's what we'll see. Okay. There's some greenery. This was from Sims. Pitberries, Laban. berries dear it's a running joke about the pit berries Levon wasn't sure what they were called but she loves them so every chance I get I use them These are going to have to like go in here a little higher than that last thing I put in there. That's what I want it. Got a little lower. I had one more cut. Yeah, I did. There it is. and this is just going to hang over the edge just to make it look old. Alright, now those are kind of pretty. I think they'll go about right up here. Then I have some real pretty pinks. I'm adding these just for Levon. Well, these are forget-me-nots. But I have some lavender back here. Did you all see her logo? Oh my gosh. So I want to put some of that like in here too. Trim this off. And you know what? All the people that come into my shop are going to say, was that that rusty old basket that you had sitting there? I think they... <laughs> they've seen enough of that rusty old basket. They want to see some spice. They want to see it jacked up. But we're going to have just about every flower in, under the sun in here. Come on now. Well, when all spells, stab it. Come on. 
again, I don't want it to look like an arrangement. I want it to look like I went to the market on my bike and brought home some flowers. That's the whole idea behind this design. There we go. Just looks like flowers, flowers everywhere. Oh, these have some daisies in it too. Woohoo! I love daisies. Do you guys look? What's your favorite flower? Just want it to look like a bouquet. Alright. Now let's throw a little pink in there behind the lavender colored flowers. We're just getting every color in there we can. a little lower with those like there we go. now we got some of this I think we're just going to lay the whole thing in there. Now, let's get some bigger flowers in there first. I'm loving these. Okay, these were $9.99 a bunch, and then they were 50% off. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look pretty with those? And then we'll stick some of these in there. They also were $9.99, 50% off. up and back. I don't want these to kind of go this way. I swear these are exact same flowers that are in the basket on the bike. I'm loving it. Turn it around for you, so you can see it so far. See, it just looks like a bike full of basket. I mean, a a basket, bike basket full of flowers. I also thought these were pretty too. So let's get some of those in there. Then we're gonna jack it up with the bow and jack it up with the sign. Fine. We're going to jack it up. That's our term, ladies. We're going to spruce it up. 
but we're going to say jack it up. Does it look like it's a bouquet and not, you know, we don't want it to look really staged. We want it to look like they're just laying in there. These will go next, but let's get some daffodils in there, right? They are pretty. Wait, you wished when you bought them in the store and you were coming out that they smelled like real flowers. go in the styrofoam. Come on. Nope, not deep enough. something right there. Let's go for a big old daisy. That'll look pretty. <laughs> we are jacking it up, baby. There. Yes. Oh my gosh. They're not going to believe their eyes when they show up and find my rusty basket looking beautiful. Come on, I want that right about there. There we go. It's going to look like spring has sprung in our house. Come on. I'm not cutting that leaf off. I want that leaf. So get with the program, Starfoam. There. So I want it a little bit lower than those. There. Yes. Yay. Now, if I have to, if I hang this up and it's a little lopsided, I can add some stones on this end to counterbalance it. Oops. We got some droopy flowers here. Can't be that they need water. I'm going to put smaller ones here. Yeah. Let's trim it a little bit shorter. There we go. Let's put another one of these in there. lower in the front here. Ooh, I have some of these blues. Yes. Oh, don't you just love it when it all comes together like you wanted it to? Now what I'm going to do with these, because I want them all to sit together. I actually
actually had a flower over here that here had some stem left that I'm just going to use the stem and attach these to the stem and use that to but I could spread some of these out like that Yeah. Oh, I'm loving it. I'll put another one back here. Another one back here. Oh my gosh. These colors are gorgeous. And then I'll put the rest there. Okay. My wire. I'm not trying to ignore you, people. I'm just in the jacking up zone. I didn't think I was going to have time to do a live today, but made it happen. Without the tag. <laughs> ah, it's going to be difficult. Let's see if I can cut it on an angle. There. Squeeze the wire. Come on now. Don't get stubborn on me now. A little bit shorter. There. There. Okay. So just move some of this. Turn it around. See if you see any. spots. Don't worry about this side because this side is going to be um, is going to be where the bow is going to go. Actually, we're going to put this next. Then we can make it just a little bit covered up just a little bit more there. So much going on here. I need more room to create. I'm not thinking, no, I don't want those. That washes it out. Okay. Oh, here's another blue. Let's see. Right there. Oh my gosh. I amazed myself guys love it as much as I do. Alright, what do you think? Hi, Lillian. No. I even have some little pit berries with some little flowers, but they look too fake for 
what I'm trying to achieve. So, what do you think so far? Then we're going to start our bow. And then see it has a little bracket back here. And I have a little thing when you come in the door. We just want it to look like we went to the market, we rode our bike, and picked up a bunch of flowers to bring home. Are you getting that vibe? Okay, we can either put this one that says seek beautiful things or we can put follow the sun. And I think just a little bit like this on a slant, like that, and then our bow right here. What do you think? Come on. You must have an opinion or maybe you do and you don't want me to hear it. But we just used some of this frayed mesh. It's actually like a, a cloth mesh. And lined the inside of the basket. Put some styrofoam in there. Put another piece around and kind of hung it over the side. And now we're going to do our bow. No comment? I don't know about you, but I'm loving it. And there's a blank space right there that needs something. And I think we're going to add, let's see, we have two of these on here. So we're going to add a third one right there because we've got one of these, two of these, three. Yeah. Okay. Let's add a third. This is our bike, bike basket that we went to the market with. What do you think? Do our bow now? Just unsure, I'm going back and forth with all these flowers. No comment. Or do you not get my design? Or can you not hear me? Okay. 
we're going to put this aside, bring out some of the ribbon I have, and you're going to help me pick out a ribbon. I think this will go right about here, maybe. Yes, or next level up. Oh no, is it your signal or is it mine? Don't you just love computers? I love them when they work. Okay. I'll just keep going. When you find me again, let me know. Now I'm satisfied. Start with the yellow.
Are you guys getting any of this? Or am I lost? Oh, good. Thank you. I thought you guys were losing me. Like, okay, just the show must go on. <laughs> Got to tuck my tails under here. Probably do this without sound anyhow. Alright. Now I think we'll go for the bike for the next. See? It matches the bike. Some of you have already ordered it. I can't wait to see what you do with it. to do the bow backwards like I looped it twice when I got to this point because I don't want to see the bike going upside down so when I got to the back here I twisted the ribbon on this side twice to make um, the ribbon go in the right direction you follow me just an extra twist So remember that. An extra twist will get it going in the right direction for you. Should have your package by tomorrow, Missy. too big I'm going to hang it over this way <laughs> I know you can't it's going to be awesome I can't wait to see what you do with your gnomes and your sign
and see what I'm doing is each each peg is getting a different ribbon on it because I kind of want it to look like the bouquet if there's every flower in there so we're just using all kinds of colors why I just don't use that thing work smarter not harder Now, since we have that blue in there, we could throw a blue in there, or we could do this one. I think I like the blue one. So we're going for the pop. Hello, Jen. Ooh, Messi has plans. Woo, I can't wait to see Miss. Missy bought a bunch of signs. She bought uh, the gnomes, the bee and ladybug. So she is ready to rock and roll when her package shows. And like I've told everybody, if you want one of my signs, do not go to Etsy. I didn't put them on there. It's in Robin's Wreath, Signs, and More. You just send me a message that you, which sign you want through a private message. If you put it here in the comments. Now, I use tinsel ties, right? I love tinsel ties. And see, I didn't have to wrap here, wrap here, unwrap, unwrap. I just lay that sucker out and just use it when I, when I twist it. I hate pipe cleaners. They rust and break, and I cannot handle using the wire. All right. We are ready to reveal this baby. Let me find my... Um, box, fluff box. I don't know. I don't know. My thing may need a little bling. We'll see when we get there. Right? My honey made this box for me. Are you ready now? Because this is going to make this pop. All right. So what you do is you start at the bottom layer. For those of you that haven't worked on a Probo, Probo the hand. You get your tails going this way and your loops this way. And when you're doing it, you're, you're actually just like poofing it up. Poof it up. Spread your fingers. Okay. You can, Vanessa, and I have at times, but you know what? You can put this on anything. You can take a handle and just put it on a piece of wood. You could loop this around the spokes on a, on a bar stool. I say bar stool because we have like bar stools down here for when I do classes and then you just loop that out like that so you want your your tails to go opposite heck you could just put a nail on the on the wall and tie it to the nail you don't need a fluff box I prefer to use a fluff box I feel like I have a better handle on it but if your husband isn't handy or you can't afford a fluff box, there's other ways. Let's 
crazy. over here. Turn this over here. Let's see. Next layer is our bike ribbon. So if we got the tails going this way, then we want Remember, we twisted this one twice so our ribbon would not look upside down like it is now. We got to twist it. We want it to go in the same direction. We don't want it looking like you just smacked it all together and it's upside down and you didn't notice it. That would be lazy. Some people don't care, but I do. And see, I went with the black because we've got black spokes in the wheel and the lettering is black. And black always makes something pop. So I wanted a little black in the bow. And see, if you have your, your wire tied really tight, you will be able to yank on it and it's not going to come out. It's not going to rust when it's outside because it's a tensile tie. Wrap. All right, now we go with our yellow. So we're going to bring that this way, this way. Thought it was just a nice little pop of color for the middle. Now, do I want anything else in here? I think I do. I think I want this in the middle. Not a flower, just a little spuzz. Right? Makes it pop, Missy. You're right. Okay, but I think I just want to add this in the middle for a little additional pop. So, let me just figure out how I'm going to add that. Ooh, I'm loving it. Sorry, guys. I'm high on life today. I think I have enough room to go up front. Or I just want that there. All right. This is what I'm going to do. No, that's not going to work. All right. I'm going to get a little zip tie because I don't want to really take the whole thing apart again. So let's just use a little zip tie. Just tie it in place. And that way it'll give the bow even more strength. Now it's just unfluffed, everything I've fluffed. And guess what? The pipe cleaner is not big enough. So, let me think on this here. I want it just like that, right there. So, 
Hmm, don't want to use that. Don't want to use that. Ooh. Maybe I can use this and use this to push it into the... No. We're going to use just a little piece of wire. I hate wire. Yeah, I could do that, couldn't I? But I kind of want it to lay like that. There we go. See, I can never grip it. Maybe if I just do this a couple times. Like I said, it just, you know, ruined my fluff job. Yeah. But that's okay. Sometimes you gotta undo to get it the way you want it, right? There. That's, that's what I want envisioned. There we go. Now, this needs to go over here. Opposite. Opposite. There we go. Alright. Now. Well. We may have to take this rose out. The bow is taken over. That's okay. Now see I have my wire basket here to hook the bow onto. Still going to use um, these floral pins. I'm actually going to stick a little bit of glue. Stick it right into the star where I want it. There we go. Just as an extra little measure to keep it in place. Ouch! Guess what? That hurt. So, like I tell everybody, if you use hot glue, you keep a glass container full of aloe. And we are going to use pliers to fix this and get it in place so that doesn't happen again. Well, these are not needle nose. So right there, okay, come here you. You're not gonna get me again. There we go. There. Secure, secure. Now you're still going to end up having to do a little fluffing and retwisting so you can get your bike ribbon to go the direction you want it to go. All right. But and get the aloe off of your bow. That aloe works almost right away. I love it. 
I taught a class down here and I had like eight students here the one day and we were making wreaths and putting the little um, attachments on the back of the sign to adhere it and that little sucker flipped and stuck to my hand. My daughter-in-law was in the class. I'm like, you got to pull it off. And I had second degree burns. So we always have aloe at our table. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen on a live. So you want to be prepared. Oh my gosh. I think I even surprised myself. All right, let's turn it around. There we go. How is that? And then I'll put one of these signs right here. I think I like it on a tilt. Or should I go straight? No, I like it on a tilt. So it just looks like we went, bought a bunch of flowers, and we're headed home to design. It got me on here, too. Sucker. Thank you. That's my bike basket. And this is what I used. I went to the upholstery shop. And I got this, they use this to put on the bottom of chairs, to stretch it across, to hold, the, well, this is what they used to use, okay? They're still using it at times, but it held the cushion on top of the frame. It's called upholstery webbing. I know they sell it on Amazon because I looked there first and found it, okay? But I knew I had an upholstery shop right in town, so... I figured I'd stop there and see if they had it today while I was in town. And they did. So there we go. Yeah, doesn't it look like we just bought a whole bunch of flowers and we're headed home? That's, that's the look. And like I said, Michael's has all their um, flowers on sale. I'm just going to keep my hands in the aloe because <laughs> it freaking hurts about <laughs> now. Oh, well. I love this stuff. You can get it in Target in a huge bottle. So what I did was places I know I normally burn my fingers. I have little glass containers. I think I got these at Walmart by Anchor. And uh, I just squirt a bunch in it. I definitely have a big bottle in the kitchen sitting on the windowsill and I have one here and I have a little one in my bathroom because how many times do you burn yourself with your curling iron? A lot. At least I do. So there we go. Just looks like a bunch of flowers we bought at the market. Oh hey Rachel. I like our bike basket. It matches the new signs. We've got follow the sun and seek beautiful things. I also have another bike sign coming out. Um, hopefully I'll have that printed by next week. I have the file. I've just got gnomes that have to get out first. So I'm sworn to secrecy, Carol. Hopefully secrecy right now. <laughs> it's killing me. So we shall see. But yeah, this has gone outside. Um, it's been a, a rusty basket sitting out there for two years. And all I did was weave the, uh, the webbing Maybe you could see it from the back better. Weaved it in and out. Okay. But the middle section 
was not as wide as this section or this section. So I actually just covered it instead of weaving it. Because the sign's going to cover most of that. See? So you're not even going to know that section wasn't weaved. And, and you wouldn't need... Um, you wouldn't necessarily need an old rusty basket either. Um, right now, Michael's has some wire baskets that look almost like a bicycle basket. Because I was going to get it while I was there because I wasn't sure I was going to be able to find this. But I thought if you don't find it, then you're doing it on a grapevine. So um, that's what I did. And then I have this fabric-like mesh which it was sitting right here. Here it is. And I wrapped that twice inside because it has like this little um, fringe at the top. And I kind of wanted the fringe to hang out of the basket. You know. Kind of disappeared on that side when we were putting our bow in. After I burned myself. <laughs> Aloe. It's a must for any crafter sitting on the table. This is an anchor hocking um, glass container with plastic lid on it. And already the feeling is starting to subside. So, all right, but these are my, my signs. And you see a bunch up here. We've got nothing bugs a lady. I go to sleep counting deer. This one says, dream big little one. Um, and then we have it in girl too. And we can personalize. I do sell those as kits. Okay. All right. I think, um, you know, you don't have to, like I said, use this on a bike basket. But I thought, why not make it look like it's sitting on a bike basket? It's just um, bike sign. It's either seek beautiful things or follow the sun. And like I said, I have another one coming out too that's black. It's really pretty. It, there's a ribbon that has, it's kind of beige and it has all these purple and pink and green flowers on it. And it totally matches the sign. That's my whole inspiration for my signs. I want to match the ribbon to the sign. Because if I can match the ribbon to the sign, you'll be able to match the ribbon to some mesh. So I sell the signs with the ribbon. The signs are $10. If you want a 10 yard spool of the ribbon, it's an additional $6.95. Okay. Wow, that, that turned out bigger than I thought it would. But I'm loving it. I think it it, it it went just as I had envisioned. Go ahead and put that in there. Gonna let some of the feeling come back to my finger, my thumb. <laughs> so yes, I will pin it. Um, it's Robin's wreath signs and more we also do logos so if you're in need of a logo call me through private message okay so i thought i had it on up for you so you can find me did you all see um, LaVon's? And I did one for Cindy Austin. And we took Missy's and we gave it a border. And she's loving it. There we go.
just pinned it okay there's the link so you don't send me a private message through here because what happens is if Facebook doesn't feel it's relevant they're gone by the next day when I go in to look at everything they're gone so you need to go to the other Facebook page and private message me your um, PayPal address and your zip code and then I invoice you and once the invoice is paid they ship it's shipping is not included that's extra but I am just loving this and where do you see the new bike sign okay all right guys I got to go pick up puppy poop and feed some other puppies All right. All right. Look for me on Monday. Hopefully by then I'll have all the new signs done. Um, and the rest of the bee and ladybugs gnomes shipped out. Don't forget, we've got all these other signs too. All right. All right, guys, you have a great evening. And thank you so much for supporting me and spreading the love. If you didn't spread it, Go ahead and spread it now. You have to spread it at the beginning. And if you need a logo, let me know, all right?